finally it's Friday today we're doing the fourth session tomorrow is going to be pretty intense because we're doing the VO2 max intervals so today breathing gear one and the advice from Nino Shooter let's do it lovely machine my lovely machine welcome my friends this is session number four great right I'm on the rollers once again uh, today very very light session for two reasons because yesterday's session was kind of hard we were riding high zone one for the entire session and tomorrow will be even more challenging because we are doing the vo2 max intervals for the first time don't worry this is just the fourth and tomorrow fifth session so i'm gonna do the beginner's version of the vo2 max don't worry you're gonna like it actually you're gonna like it uh, and today seven 60 seconds intervals with nose breathing okay so first off don't set any higher or even even mid uh, resistance on your uh, trainer as you can see I'm pedaling very very lightly this is three minutes warm-up but we are riding now low zone one so there's not much to to be warming up for so just spin lightly let it be around 90 rpms uh, I'm just at 81 right now just if it's okay for you don't think about the cadence too much just don't go too light right like below 80 all right uh, and this intensity is so low everyone should be able to nose breathe for the entire session today which is 25 minutes but those seven 60 seconds intervals will be controlled controlled breathing so as for now when you're listening to, to me and just warming up you nose breathe inhale and inhale through the nose uh, but let the brain regulate the intensity and the depth of it and during the intervals I will explain to you uh, what we do after the third interval I'm gonna share with you the advice from our session four master which is Nino Schurter very very helpful advice which which is going to stick with us for, for life uh, we have 30 seconds left and just prepare for nice breathing this session is both for recovery but also for turning on our uh, parasympathetic system which slows us down we want to uh, work against if you will depression and other problems three two one and this is what the breathing is for okay so nose inhale and slower uh, exhale through the nose too okay keep doing it and I'm gonna explain to you how don't make this uh, intervals this interval breathing interval too deep and too stretchy no just breathe deeper than you will in between those uh, intervals and control it try to get the exhale longer than the inhale because the exhale is superior is amazing in slowing us down in slowing our heart rate down uh, bringing our, our HRV back to normal and making us feel good so 10 seconds left inhale through the nose longer exhale through the nose one done now two minutes in between uh, just keep breathing through the nose keep breathing through the nose if you're unable to nose breathe with such intensity there are two options one your resistance is too high two if if you are not able to uh, adjust resistance on the trainer like me on the rollers maybe your gear is just too high for you right so find comfortable gear should not be too light like like right now let it let it be zone one right so 
you want to feel your pedaling but it should be light very smooth and enjoyable right so enjoy this session we have one minute and ten seconds left keep nose breathing and after one minute we do the interval together two one and go nose breathe inhale and nose exhale longer one once again don't think of breathing as a back and forth movement of your chest rather up and down movement of your belly which is down for the inhale up for the exhale keep breathing nice and deep not too deep long exhale if you feel dizzy stop doing it go back to normal and by this intensity if you feel dizzy you might you might have some problems with your lungs with your health okay done two minutes just normal nose breathing don't control it just keep your mouth shut if you want to go off the saddle you may change the gear maybe one or two sprockets down the cassette and stretch a little bit if this is really your fourth session in your life like you're a very beginner you might feel that especially those sessions when we pedal very lightly we will feel more pressure on the saddle and this is also your time to adjust the position on your bike uh, perhaps to decide whether or not you should actually replace your saddle especially the saddle it's okay to feel a little uncomfortable at the beginning uh, maybe just a little bit of some pain at the beginning but once you uh, keep going through those sessions you should get used to the position on the saddle and it should be 100 percent comfy if you get numb if you feel really uncomfortable pain work on your saddle so check out my bike sizing bike fitting fitting playlist i will also sometimes here in the sessions during the sessions tell you what could be the reason you feel pain or numbness okay 15 seconds left go control nose breathing exhale longer than the inhale let's go together
Okay guys, it's time for the session four advice. The master of the session is Dino Schutter and this is what he said. He didn't actually share it as an advice. He just shared his attitude towards training and he said quality over quantity. There is some interesting series of the videos where Dino Schutter on YouTube where Schurter um, shares his way of training and one of those is called endurance training where you can really pick up some some deep deep info on how this incredible mountain biker trains uh, and this is really suitable to our training sessions because some will tell you these are too short do longer go further uh, don't leave anything in the gym right go go powerful if you don't have time go once a week really strong bury yourself and recover for the six six days no we're focusing on the quality each of these sessions is well thought out <laughs> uh, it is really thought out by me and uh, this time will add up those 25 minutes 30 35 minutes of those sessions will add up throughout the the week the month the year once again if you train five times a week that's over 20 times a month that's over 200 220 times a year all these sessions will make you much healthier much stronger actually you can compete, okay? Two, one, and go with the nose breathing. Control breathing, focus on being relaxed. Don't put any strain on your face, on your jaw, just relax. And during that longer exhale through the nose, just feel each muscle of your body relaxing. Let's do it, 34 seconds left. done we are four out of seven now two minutes recovery which means don't think about your breathe just keep your mouth closed what happens when we nose breathe there is several factors that take place to our advantage when we nose breathe uh, we are calming ourselves down. You should really sh feel, should feel relaxed. We um, provide the oxygen to the muscles very nicely, especially with this kind of workout, which is low intensity. We should feel great. We are becoming even more efficient in the aerobic uh, work, using the oxygen using fat burning fat wonderful for losing some weight so just think of that and then you will understand even more why why do we say why Nino says quality over quantity Nino Schurter trains less hours than many other riders but he always knows when he when he goes for the session he knows what's the goal of that. It's not just to put more kilometers, miles, hours on Strava or training peaks. It's for a good reason. Our breathing here is also for a good reason. We have just three uh, intervals left. So 10 seconds, focus on these and make your breathing beautiful, all right? Go.
cool. Done. Nice recovery, nice recovery. Let's try to remind ourselves whether, whether or not we remember those tips from the first three sessions, remember? Number one, Tira Sahabi saying, I don't want you to leave everything in the gym. If your max pull-ups is 10, I'm gonna make you do five, but every day, which will add up, okay? Session two, Kate Courtney, fun is fast. Actually, Scott's Ram team uh, motto, fun is fast. You wanna have fun in what you're doing. I'm trying to make all those sessions for you different. Each one will have a goal and we are focusing on that. Of course, have fun riding in the real world, outside if you can. We have snow today, it's November, but have fun. When you have fun, you're becoming fast, really fast. And then session three, Alexi Papas, one third rule, the one third rule, which means if one of the three days you feel bad, one you feel ah, okay and one you feel great that's still fine you're doing good job you're on your way to health your goals your performance goals if you don't feel like doing the next session with me it's okay sometimes maybe well it didn't happen yet to me but sometimes maybe i don't feel like doing the session for you and video recording it <laughs> although it didn't happen to me yet okay five four three two one do beautiful nose breathing controlled with a longer exhale and relax done all right you might have noticed I'm uh, raising the power a little bit during those intervals you don't have to do it it's it's actually irrelevant here you don't have to do it and when you don't raise the power or the intensity uh, that means also that your exhales will be longer because uh, the, the more power we put out the shorter exhales we'll be able to make because we need more oxygen so one minute and 20 seconds this is the last between intervals rest and then we go for the seventh one uh, we'll be done for today if you can do it in the morning you're really setting yourself up for a beautiful day if you do it in the evening, you should not be worrying about uh, sleep, uh, uh, falling asleep, because this is really low intensity. It's short, it's low intensity, plus all that breathing should actually make you even more relaxed and then sleepy. The parasympathetic system will, will just put us to sleep. But if you can do it in the morning, I would maybe recommend that to have a whole day after that session, after that training, will feel amazing. Having accomplished a wonderful session. A wonderful session. I don't even know myself what accent do I have. You're, you're sometimes trying to guess. I'm not trying to imitate any accent, but sometimes you just go like, wonderful session. Okay. Ooh. 
and go. Nose breathe, longer exhale. And we are done with the intervals. Now just the three minutes of a cool down. This cool down is actually more like a meditation three minutes than a cool down. We don't, we don't have to cool down from such a low intensity and light training. All right. Think about what you've done for yourself, for your body, for your mind, I'm not gonna say for your spirituality, okay, for your body, for your mind today. For your body, you have definitely recovered nicely from yesterday's session, which was high zone one, preparing for tomorrow's session, which will be amazing, BO2 max, intervals, beginner type of those. For your mind, you've learned a lot about slowing yourself down because when you take over the control over your breath and you nose breathe slowly, you exhale the air slowly, relaxing your body, you you're getting control over your like the intensity of all the um all all what's happening in your body right we're slowing down all the systems letting the body do what it's supposed to do meaning to clean the mess we're making using and abusing the body both maybe when overtraining or overworking but also sitting with your smartphone for hours seven days a week slow down just think about it 45 seconds left thank you so much for the session i feel amazing i've shared with you already some some uh, news about my performance which went through the roof roof at the end of the season which is 2022 uh, just letting things go not even focusing too much on building the studio which is huge and huge project once again thank you very much slow down have amazing day three two, one, done.